أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين uh, The reminder that I want to share with you today uh, is a reminder which is shared with us by a companion whose name was Mu'adh ibn Jabal رضي الله عنه and I'm sure you've heard me talk about him many times because he's someone that has such a beautiful character. He was such a blessing for the Ummah that Umar ibn Khattab used to wish that he had roomfuls of people like Mu'adh ibn Jabal and Abu Ubaidah. And subhanAllah, it just so happens that Mu'adh ibn Jabal was also uh, killed. Uh, he basically passed away, may Allah accept him as a shaheed, in the plague which spread in the time of the Sahaba. Now it is it is narrated by a man or one of the tabi'een whose name is Abu Idris al-Khawlani who reported, I once entered the mosque in Damascus, the masjid in Damascus, and I happened to catch sight of a young man who had bright teeth, that he was always smiling, he had a, a cheerful expression on his face. A number of people had gathered around him, and when they differed over anything, they would refer it to him and act upon his advice. I asked who he was, and I was told that he was Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu anh. The next day, the, this tabi'i Abu Idris al-Khawlani says, The next day, I hastened to the masjid, but found that he, yani Mu'adh ibn Jabal, had arrived there before me and was busy in making salah. I waited until he finished, and then went to him in the, from the front and greeted him with salam, and said to him, By Allah, I love you. By Allah, I love you. He said, he asked me, for the sake of Allah? I replied, yes, for the sake of Allah. He again asked me, is it for the sake of Allah? I replied, yes, it is for Allah's sake. Then he took hold of my cloak and drew me to himself and said, rejoice, have glad tidings. I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, my love is due to those who love one another for my sake, who meet one another for my sake, and visit one another for my sake, and spend in charity for my sake. SubhanAllah, what a beautiful hadith. And of course, in this time, when we are not physically able to visit people, Alhamdulillah that we are visiting in a time where I can be teaching so many people from sitting in my house. And the same way I can visit people while sitting in my house and while they are sitting in their house. This is one of those things that you know people always dreamed about, that there will come a time when a person will call someone and be able to see them as well. And subhanAllah, we are living in that reality. And this is one of those ahadith which teaches us how to take advantage of technology in a beneficial manner. And in this way, you know, we can visit people and speak to them and talk to them and you know, just for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just to check on them, just to show us, to the, show them that we care about them. Now, subhanAllah, another hadith by Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu uh, is another part of the reminder today. And Mu'adh now, at this time, the first hadith, he is a teacher. But this second hadith is a time when he is the student. So Mu'adh radiallahu anh reports, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam held my hand and said to me, O Mu'adh, by Allah, I love you. O Mu'adh, by Allah, I love you. And advise you not to miss making this dua after every salah. And that dua is, Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. And inshallah, I will uh, include a link in the video, uh, which will be about a video which teaches you how to memorize this dua. Which means, oh Allah, help me remember you. Oh Allah, help me expressing gratitude to you and worship you in the best manner. So the Prophet ﷺ taught us that we should say this dua after every salah. Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. Subhanallah, since the Prophet ﷺ loved Mu'adh, he gave him this gift. He said, Mu'adh, I love you and let me tell you, let me give you something nice because I love you. And this is the dua, and subhanAllah, now we can all take advantage of that. Now with that, 
Um, I want to recommend everyone because I know people have uh, a lot of time that they did not have before. I want to recommend everyone a lecture uh, by Sheikh Yasser Qadi. It is called Lessons from Past Pandemics. And in this lecture, which is about an hour or so long, he uh, shares what scholars in our past have written about pandemics that they faced. And what happens when the masajid were shut down, how there were times where the, there were so many people dying that they wouldn't even bury the people. They would just simply close the house, the door of the house where everyone had died. And they would leave them there until the plague had finished and only then they were able to go and bury the bodies. It's a very interesting lecture and puts things in perspective and helps us feel uh, somewhat lighter that we are not the only ones that have faces, but in fact, the Spanish flu, the scholars at that time, they wrote treatises and uh, the bubonic plague or the black death that, that spread uh, earlier, like 14th century or something, uh, what the scholars of that time wrote and what the scholars and what the Sahaba themselves experienced in the time uh, of Umar ibn Khattab. The second two things that I want to share with you is that again, because there are people who are at work, um, at, at home from work, and may have some extra time and of course we know that the healthcare workers who are on the front lines of this war that's going on against this pandemic are experiencing a severe shortage of personal protective uh, equipment masks gowns and things like that so uh, we have received a kind of like a news alert or uh, just you know an information an article that how people at home can help and it was also in the news this morning that people are actually sewing masks at home and donating them to the hospitals and the hospitals then sterilize those masks that are donated and then they use them uh, there so inshallah I'm going to uh, include uh, an article which teaches you what you need to do if you're interested in doing that and inshallah we can all give back in some way if we are able to of course not everyone will be able to do so uh, especially to people with young kids like myself, it's actually uh, sometimes it's harder now than it was before. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy upon us. And alhamdulillah, I know somebody sent me a message and asked me if I was sick, if I had COVID-19. Alhamdulillah, I do not. I just have um, the pandemic of Augusta, which is allergies. Uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for all. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu wa la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.